Hi guys, and today uh, I thought we'd just cover how you can look up chrome parts online um, other than, you know, your digital parts book or or the physical, you know, parts book that came with the machine. So, the way you can do this is through Agro Parts. Uh, Agro Parts is free. So, over here, you can see register for free. Um, it's just going to have you fill out all this information. You know, you can say you're a private user and not, you know, like a dealer would be commercially. So, if we back back out of this, I'm going to go ahead and log in. So, once uh, you log in, of course, we're looking for Crone parts, so we'll go to Crone. And then we can go to the online catalog. So from here, we can now select the machine. So for this, we'll just pick a simple one and we'll go with a rotary, uh, go a rotary tether. We'll go with the four basket. And now we need to know, of course, the model of our tether. So we'll go with the KW552. Actually, we want the T. So the T means drawbar. Without the T, you know, it could be either a three-point or a two-point. It all depends. But we want the T there. So now we have a drawbar model. So we'll go to the spare parts list right here. From here, we need to look and see what serial number machine we have. Depending on if it falls within this range, we're going to want this parts book. Or if it's after this, we're going to want this parts book, which from basically 2010, you know, up until now. So if we click on this and we click, uh, we'll start right here. Here you can see, you know, the draw bar. So all the parts here associated with that to attach it. On the side here, it lists them all with the numbering and some of the sizing remarks, some of the parts do give um, the actual, like, say, for instance, the roll pin size or the, the lock nut. Pretty, pretty straightforward there. And also sometimes it'll give quantity used, but for this it does not. So here we can click on, you know, the cart. And we can see... You know, a normal minimum order quantity, that'd be more so for a dealer. You know, to get it, they're going to have to order at least five. We can see the weight, again, description, and the part number. But you can add a remark if you want, and then add it to your cart. Of course, it wants five. But we'll add that to the cart. And then if we go to the cart, we can see it right there. So... You can do a couple things here, of course. You can select your dealer and send it to your dealer. You can print it out and just take it into your dealer. Um, you can also save this file and email it to your dealer and then they could open this list and order it from there. Um, other things you can do on here. So if you got a really long list, you know, you're looking to make sure you got a part number on this list. You can type it in here and search and see if it is also on your list. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you can, or on this side, go ahead and page to the next page of the catalog. Of course, you can page back. Uh, if we want to see... basically the pages of the catalog without 
jumping th through each one. We can just scroll through here and then click that one we want. And then we're on it. We also have the availability to flip it around so that the list is on top and the image is on bottom, but I don't know if that's really the greatest thing, or we could share this as well. So you can zoom in if you really want to make sure you're looking at the part you need or zoom back out, all this stuff, pretty straightforward. Um, but anyhow, uh, at the top, again, we can see we're in spare parts. We can see we're under this tether. We can see what catalog book we're in. In case you want to maybe talk, discuss it with your dealer. Say, hey, I'm in this catalog number book. And I'm on page, you know, seven. Wheel bracket. Something like that. So you could, you know, be looking at the same thing that he's looking at. So you make sure you're getting the right parts. Other than that, we can change the language. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, again, this should have pretty much the complete line on here. Some of the really old stuff. You're probably going to have to refer to um, paper books. But most of the stuff, as you can see, is on here. And you can select from. So even, even plows are on here, which that's... That's pretty old, so keep that in mind. But if you're looking for Niemeyer, I'm going to say you're going to have to pull out a paper book for that. But anyhow, I hope you guys found this short video useful. Thanks for watching, and please stay tuned for more.